Hello, Zeta Hit, and welcome back to Lone Star. So let's go start the game. Wait, it's to take. I'll take the shield this time. Yeah, we didn't unlock all of these. Oh, oops. Donkey. Check these out. Back shield up. Start the game, gain an exclusive unit disguise mask. Use one nearby support unit and randomly place it with an on upgraded support unit. Wait, what? That's a really strange one. I want this one. Oh, okay, four treasures related to the shop at the start of the game. Oh, that might be neat. An extra basic shop. Upgrade service. Center focused. At the start of the battle, the attack unit at the basic center gains 3 power. There's a chance of returning uh, the days. Mirror duplicated every time you accumulate 4 units, the 4th unit will be duplicated. Why would you use that? Oh, this one's actually neat. You start with uh, more uh, treasures. Oh, it's still on difficulty. Is it per ship? Wait a minute. Oh, oh this is actually separate. Yeah, I think it's per ship. The difficulty you need to do per ship. That's strange. So in a way it forces you to do both. Stable beam. The loaded energy points are considered as 4 points. So twice 8. What I'm guessing. This could be horrible. Oh, we can move. Oh no, it's four per. Can I do the same? Oh, that's the upgrade thing. I don't think I can negate that one. But if I go down, I don't use fuel. Then we can put this in. Then we just level this up all the way. And actually get rid of a one. Like we don't have the power output yet. Now we're going up. Oh, that's a pain. Actually, true. It's a kind of an annoying one to deal with. Oh, it's for each. Let's see. Before I do that, gate that one. Level up. I use a five on the bottom. And just use double trees. And just fire straight through. It's paralyzed. Alright, on the 5 and there, so double 6s. This 14 is basically killing. In one hit. What did we get? If at least one energy has been loaded onto the unit. Power will provide additional strength for this unit during this turn. The power persists for the entire battle. On entering the shop, gain 7 star coins. Shop call for support. All items in the shop have their price reduced by 25%. So I want to go shopping a lot. Amplification device. At the start of the battle, all nearby attack units gain 1 power. Your right core, when loading, white energy gain 2 strength. Maybe I have a lot of white energy. Is that useful? I think this is better. And just do this, and then all of these will be buffed. Let's see. Let's go treasure. 
Two spore coins gain a common treasure. At the start of the battle, restore HP by two. Yeah, we don't have enough money yet. I have like three shops. Unit upgrades like only to upgrade, limited to one use per on. That's not that great. Disposable defense device. Failure. Take only one damage and destroy itself. So it negates your damage by one. Or uh, reduces your damage to one. I should say. Yeah, we're already going with the power on. It almost always happens. So we do a 5 and there, a 5 and there, and then it doesn't matter. And then we just annihilate. Just don't get the other one. But this one unit has been loaded in power. Yeah, I don't know how that one works. Power shopping. Oh, when gaining attack units in the shop, grant them a modification, have two power in battle. Oh, and they gain a modification, that's how that works. Was like I'm missing something. This is kind of a pain. Level it up twice. So if I go down by one. Just take one hit. Let's do this. Just use heavy damage. It's my shield, so we're safe on the hull at least. And now it doesn't matter. And he's gone. Four coins, fuel, and one unit. Data detector. When loading energy to uh, of a certain point for the first time in battle, game on power. When shield points reaches zero, double strength. Now give me this. Then loading energy of a certain point for the first time in battle. How does that work? Let's go. Yep, I think I know how that works. Uh, give me question mark first. Gain star coins. Go shopping. Give me more coins. I forgot, we can actually get coins when we go into a shop. Stable framework. At the start of the battle, for each 10 star coins you have, gain one on a max shield point. Ooh. Gain shield points for every 15 energy loaded. Generate one orange energy. No, give me this. Generate two energy at the start. Oh, that's when overclocking. Boost core, initiate to gain to power. Yeah, that one's great. Tracks can be triggered by clicking on the unit when initiate reaches zero. Initial jump is decreased for each start of a turn. Initiate is not triggered at count zero. It can be retained till triggered. No, I don't think I want those. 12 points. Let's just take this. Then we go to the next. Oh, if you upgrade that, it actually goes to uh, double uh, white. Let's see. Self destruct device. Countdown 6. Self destruct dealing 10 damage to the enemy spaceship. Those will actually go through our shields. I can also heal for a little bit. 
let's see. So if we pop in a2, then a5 and a5 and a3, then we already do a lot of damage. If this doesn't trigger, yeah, if it doesn't try to counter it, I will actually destroy it quickly. Let's get there to, uh, this to a 3. Now we can actually completely counter it. At least on that line. That's a strange one. You can get up to 9 power by using different uh, values. That's a neat one. Yeah, if we go with a 5, it actually hits to 10. And the break. Hope we actually get something higher than a 1. Here's a 4. Six and a 1. Not enough to kill it. Well, probably for the next one we can just destroy it. Let's see if it lets this one fire. This will just destroy it. A 3 and a 3 and a 9. Out of the 3. Okay, pull 3 in, you get 9 damage. That's a crazy one. We need a really big range. This will skill at the end of the showdown. The number of energy in your hand is higher than 4 increases all energy points by 1. The energy loaded on uh, an attack unit is the less energy in your hand. Gain 5 strength. Try that one. Embers. Now we need another unit. We have 5 points, so let's go uh, with it. There's no slots. In six coins. No slot display. The like one unit is display. Wait, I don't have anything that. Yeah, that's neat. Let's see. Take. Damage and get a bunch of star coins. Have something. Yeah, for every star coins we get uh, more shield. So if we take seven damage, and that should increase our the shield capacity by a bunch. Going to a boss battle. Oh, it's a color shield. Yeah, now we have 10 shields. So in a way we don't want to overspend our, uh, our stuff. Um, we just fully negate this. Double. And it's a draw. Put a five in. Pop that one. Don't do damage. Hard to get uh, through these. Okay, all shields to the middle. A3 and A1 and A5 because I have a massive buff. Less energy loaded gains 5 strength. 
gates. Yeah, because of that one, we can just reduce the damage by a bunch. Keeps rolling really high. Let's do this. Six is a 13. Still taking the beating. But even the lowest one can stop that from uh, happening. Uh, let's see, put this one in, then do this and hit it by punch. Now it can't move. Then we can't hit uh, 7 and 8. Actually, it's not even that useful. Lose that one. It was actually a reduction a lot of the times. Yeah, the top cannon can do a lot. Upgraded once, now it actually goes through. Do the damage. Take one hit, and it takes two. Double eight. Does it even matter at this point? And the only thing is I need to get this in order. Paralyze the next one where you will actually destroy it. Like no chance in hell this is getting through. But I, this is get, I'm not getting destroyed. Points restore all treasure. When an attack unit is loaded with 9 points energy, it gains 1 power. There's no way in hell. Uh, the first time an attack unit gains power, it gains an extra power. Would I take it on all of these? When uh, generating energy within a turn, this unit loads 1 and then vehicle energy. And the benefits from directional effects regardless of its position. Nearby upper lower front. So this will trigger on this one as well. When generating energy within a turn, this unit loads one intention. This generates, so if we use... Let's get a legendary. The other one is useful. Might be way better. Uh, let's go to shop. Shop, we get a bunch of money. One generating white energy increases its point by one. Start of the turn restores shield points by one. Oh, that always restores one point. All tech units on the top lane gain one power. At the start of the battle, change the skill to that of the fourth unit in front. No. Spark amplifier. Oh, that's tri power. The unit in front gains five power. We need three energy to even activate that. Let's get this. Get all the tech units on the top lane here. Just buying everything. Four days. Let's get a question mark. Uh, lose eight star coins. Or well, we're not getting the buff, so let's just do this. Uh, three three eight. There you go. Placement monitoring core. When the enemy moves, this unit gains to a one power, so we can't move.
This guy is 3 power. Immediately. Get an orange. No, it actually gains more power if I move. But that's kind of painful. I only have one unit there. Well, let's just do damage. Double force, there goes the shield. But that one hurts. I can't move because this would just gain a massive amount of power. And going through. Fourteen. Why can't it just give me enough to defend that? Well, I'm just gonna kill it. That's a pain! Also, I'm really glad that I regenerate shields now. Restore all shield points with initiate. At the loading an energy, generate another energy that is one grade lower in color and one blue point of energy. Uh, pretty sure I'll just take this. Once we can actually place it down. Restore all. Oh, and he said three restore, restore all shield points. Well, that's pretty decent. Uh, give me an upgrade. Data detect. Uh, now it's all. Uh, I can just put any energy in. I probably don't need that. Oh, give me this. Upgrade unit. Consume. Legendary. There we go. Battle. Counter core. At the start of the turn, gain strength that equals to the damage taken by this lane in the previous turn. Battle restoration ring. At the start of the second turn, it restores all HP for both sides. Actually, wait, because this is gonna be a massive pain in the ass if it gets too powerful. See, a bot, two, and a double six. That's not even enough to kill it. But it is broken. And it will die on the next one. It actually got a 9. 9 and an 8. And they just destroy it. What I want. Oh, upgrade advice. No, I take this first. Part of the battle upgrades nearby units to. No, we need the upgraded version. Upgrade all units for this battle. Let's see. Max HP down, one treasure, damage treasure, two fuel. Drop fuel. Flawless metal. When the battle ends, if the shield point is higher than zero, gain more power coins. And just give me coins. Back one to remove, gain star coins. Do the rarity. I'll just exchange this. Eight star coins. By the bomb. At the end of the turn, if no energy is loaded, you do damage to your ship. At the start of the turn, equip one spider bomb to an empty enemy grid. Boom. Wait, this is gonna make me give up energy. It does. 
Porque te estuvo mal. Y ya le siguieron. Five, eight, nine, eight, four. Go through. Oh, it's gonna be a massive pain in the ass. Really? Don't do four damage. Fine. Get paralyzed. Okay, die. Uh, but every fifteen energy load generates one orange one point energy. The loading energy into an attack unit in spaceship center against two strength. Hmm. Against two strength, top power. No, never mind. I'll take the counterfeit coin. But the thing is, can I upgrade this? Let's try it. Take one unit and copy the highest graded color slot. The copy. Oh, I'd rather have this one upgraded. Um, that's one of the broken uh, things you can get. Oh no. Gain slot pointer from a previous bounty hunter. Try power every attack. Gain two strength for each slot they have. Attack you against two strength. I think that's that useful. That's attempting. Take one unit, dip it to the bounty hunter in the future. I'll send it back. That wasn't that great. And we don't have enough uh, money. Thanks to go to a shop. Have one power in battle. Uh, fair double this unit power. Showdown 3, when taking showdown damage this turn, the enemy takes the same amount of damage. Oh, that's a refraction mirror. Let's just kill this before that activates. If we can. So if we change this to a... Uh, wait. This is to a 4. There. Reduce damage and hit two. We add four, now we have all fours. And straight through the middle. Yeah, shield activated. Just negate the damage. That's a two. That should fully negate it. I'm better just taking that damage. Because I will just go way beyond its uh, limit. And the mirror will just destroy me. One of those, one of those. Six, six. Two in there and a four. That is not enough to kill it. Put nine in. No 
Oh, and there's the amount that I need to have. Well, two out of three went through. Not too bad. Guys, the boss were doing really great. The four. What the hell is with that damage? Uh, move down. That should be fine. Take two damage. Oh, that actually doesn't stop damage. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's what's happening. Uh, this is a problem. I was not expecting that this would be this powerful. Every time it fails, it gets stronger. By a lot. Is there only a second one? Look how powerful this thing becomes. Every time it fails in a uh, battle, it doubles. It doesn't go down. Yeah, that's not even enough to go through. Can only negate one. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not even gonna try to go back. He'll probably win. Well, that is one horrible enemy. interest at the start of the battle you will receive star coins equal to 10% of your current amount of star coins and yeah, that should have been way better but uh yeah that unit will just destroy you but yeah that's it for this episode so thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one